May I have your name? Rhonda Aguirre. Uh, Rhonda, mm -hmm. where are you from? I'm from Anaheim, mm -hmm. Orange County. Okay. How long have you been living in? Um, For since 2007. Mm -hmm. Off and on. I had a stroke. 10 years? Yeah, 10. Wow. And I had a stroke last year. Mm -hmm. And I, my friend took care of me, but he moved. So I'm back out here. And this time it's a little bit more difficult because I had a stroke. And I, and I take medicine for high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. That's why I, I had a stroke, high blood pressure. And so, you know, I know many folks, many people here, you know, it's very difficult. We have no real restroom, no potty, mm -hmm. no toilet. And I think that that might be the worst because we have Mary's Kitchen, we can eat every day. They bring food all the time here. Mm -hmm. And Mary's Kitchen, you could wash your clothes and take a shower. You know, as long as you're there in the morning to get on a list for your name. Because they only do so many, then they serve lunch. And then they go, they, they close at two. And then you gotta come back here. Which is good to have this because before, we didn't have so many people. I didn't realize how bad it really was until I came back this year. You know, after being gone, you know, I come back and I'm like, wow, what happened? And it's very, very, uh, humbling to know that I'm not the only one and um, we, try to, we try to be together, try to stay together. It's better in numbers, but it's still hard, you know, there's no restroom, it does not get the trash, they, they, they just put the trash container up to, to confine the trash, that's awesome, that's half the battle. The restroom, I think, if they put the outhouse, maybe an outhouse where the trash cans are, Mm -hmm. where the trash dispenser is to collect the, the trash cans kind of that the trash collection site maybe if they put a porta potty or something like that that would be wonderful you know uh, we as a team we know how to help one another clean up after one another we will come to uh, some kind of organization where you're you're held responsible for the rest of cleaning Kind of like what they do at Mary's Kitchen. Mm -hmm. Everybody has a job, you know. The wash machines are not to be used by everybody. It's ran by one of us that is in control of that. But Gloria has to say so who works, who don't work. Mm -hmm. you have to, there's rules and regulations you have to abide by. And trustworthy, you have to be trustworthy. And it's, it's very difficult. Mm -hmm. So my, I just got blessed yesterday with the tent. This is my friend's tent, but mm -hmm. I'm going to be right next door. Mm -hmm. So I'll have my own tent, and I've never really been by, and all these years I've never really been by myself. I've always had a boyfriend, mm -hmm. which I don't have anymore, which is a good thing. <laughs> kind of a good, good thing, because get, I'll get my independence back. And hopefully, you know, um, I could, I don't know what kind of work I'm capable of doing because of the stroke. I, I, I'm right-handed and it's kind of just like I can't stop moving it doesn't stop moving. I did some therapy but it's, it's a neurologist problem because I, I stroke and then they then I had a brain aneurysm because the blood pressure overflowed and the back of my brain filled up. I, I almost died but I survived. I'm not, I'm nothing wrong with my legs, good. Um, my, this part of my body is good. My face here, and my hand, and my arm. I, you know, I'm, I'm, I could lift my arm up, but it's shaky. You know, if I keep practicing. I'll get better at it, but it's not going to mm -hmm. ever be normal because it's, it's a neurologist mm -hmm. thing. But anyway, uh, we try to keep it abundant some things, but not too much because it, it attracts bugs. And, and then, then, you know, you don't want to have too much. There's so many mean people. Okay. Um, so you're here by yourself? I'm here, but uh, I'm going to be by myself. I have friends. Uh -huh. Right now I stay with a friend. But I got a tent yesterday. 
Oh, and good so for I'm you. Gonna, Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to go uh, stay next door. Maybe you should introduce me your new tent next time when I visit you. Yes, I will show yeah. you. I will see you that I say this. So your, your friends are helping you yeah, with their tent? Yes, because yeah. I just had a year ago had a stroke and I'm just now come back out here out, you know, on the streets again because the person that was taking care of me, he moved to Florida. Uh huh. And I want to go to Florida. I'm scared to go. But my family knows me. Yeah. I have seven boys. Wow. Yeah. What are they? And they're they're doing okay. I don't want to be a burden to them. You know, there's certain yeah. things. Are they that here in California? Only one. Only one. And Do I, they know that you are? You know. They the know, tent? but they're they're having struggles themselves to keep their place uh -huh. of stay. I, I don't want to be. You know, certain things. There's certain apartments that you you only allow so many people to live with you. Uh -huh. and, It's so it, anytime it, when you want to see them, they'll come visit. They can see. Oh, they'll okay. tell you. Okay, okay we meet, meet me at McDonald's on what it's three mm -hmm. summer. And and Nicholas, James, and Gary, he's the only one that's staying in California. All the other ones. Hot. Coffee. I don't. I'm sorry. I like this. I like. Um, Is it okay that I? in there. <laughs> the okay, by the way, <laughs> by the way, uh, yes. my battery is gonna okay, die Okay, thank soon. you so but, much. Oh, but wait, 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 hold on. I still, then I got another camera too. I want to ask you, um, what made you to be homeless, you know? Is there any reason? Um, I, uh, I divorced my yeah, husband huh? and because I divorced my husband yeah, solely for Brian right for me. I didn't work. He worked. I divorced him, and I was doing okay because I went to a sober living because I had a drug problem, and that's what changed my idea that I don't need to be abused and could subject myself to that, you know, being married. So I divorced him after five years and decided it, and then, um, and then was uh, it abusive? Yeah. yeah. Marriage. Oh, and then sorry. when I divorced, I, be, I became homeless, you know, I, I stayed in sober living for a little while, but, you know, you can only do so much to pay your rent. I worked at McDonald's, but it wasn't enough to bring my kids back home. I couldn't bring my kids home. I stayed clean and sober, but financially, I couldn't bring, I couldn't take care of them. So they stayed in the system. But, um, and my husband, he's homeless now, too. What happened it's, to him? What happened to him was he became a heroin addict. Uh -oh. And and uh, because Charles, because of CPS, we both owe child support because we, I gave my kids CPS. Mm -hmm. They uh, they take your driver's license if you owe child support. They take your driver's license and privilege away. Mm -hmm. And he's a mechanic, so he took his privileges of being a mechanic away. So he had no income anymore and do it with under table without paying your taxes so things have really been really bad <laughs> wow this divorce thing actually they did made both of you to be a homeless yes system. and it was my decision and i didn't know the repercussions what's your relationship with him now he's we're friends we're friends oh yeah we're friends Good. he's the only phone number i know by heart <laughs> I don't even oh. know my own kids' phone numbers. I'm oh, sorry yeah. about what happened. That's okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Anything else you want to say? Um, just be find the Lord Jesus Christ because what's saved me is what's kept me. Oh, yeah. One thing I want to ask you. Um, there's some, you know, stereotype of homeless yeah, that people there. usually have. And uh, would you tell us about your opinion on it? A stereotype? I think they're pretty much close, pretty close to that stereotype. There's a lot of that. Because it's a, it's a behavior that you're allowing yourself to conduct or allow, you allow to be conducted in your homestead. You know, that's why I divorced. I thought I, I would be able to change that. It, it for my life, it, it did, what it did was it manifested because I was married. It manifested bad, not good, because um, I didn't. 
It's not fast enough. Recovery. The year that I was homeless, what happened to my nose, I was being talked to as I was walking and I went to turn and someone called, called my name. I turned back as I'm turning the corner and I ran into a brick wall at the corner of the road. Like that. It healed, but over the years, I wear now I have to wear reading glasses to read, and I have to pull them up off my head to walk. So I pull them up out of my eyes and put them on my head. Well, they fall down and hit my nose. It's been going on for the last two years. I opened it up again, and it's been like off, but it's getting so it's so much more better now. Now that it's not cold, I don't know what it was. The cold weather was really hard for it. Now it's summertime, so I gotta make sure it's covered so it don't get cancer. So a lot of people think it's cancer, but they said no. They get antibiotics in and, and, and keep my hands off it because of the environment. Because my nails are, they're okay. They're not perfect, but <laughs> you know, so. Oh, the stereotype? Yeah, what do I think about the stereotyping? I think they're pretty close to it, you know, because it is it is uh, something that's conquering the human race. I think it conquers us. And so it's manifested, it, it manifests bad. And so people think, they see it, you know, when you when you're driving down the freeway, you don't go, yay, they made it. No, you go, oh my gosh, <gasps> look at that. You know, the fear and terror and drama and downfalls, people are very attracted to that. That's something that will always be. And it's the world, it, the things of the world, you know. You have to rise among all this. Like the, the property, the things, are, but clothing, shoes, food and water, or the and cleanliness, you got to be clean. Uh, it's the most important things, you know. Little things that doesn't really matter. It's a blessing, sure. It is a blessing if you get to keep it for as long as you're here. But of course, things come and go. The stereotype that drugs, the alcohol, of course, is here, or we would not be in this situation. I truly believe there's innocent people that are homeless and they don't even drink or use. I really believe it. There is, but far and few in between is it that for them. A lot of us are on my addict, recovering addict alcoholic. You know, I don't drink anymore. I do still smoke marijuana occasionally. I smoke methamphetamines, but I really don't like it because I, in my mind, I really want, don't want it. It's it's just a habit. It's it's around all the time. Um, I don't pay for it. I don't trade for it. I don't sell my body for it. If it just happens to be there, if someone offers it, I might. I, Nine or ten times I say no because I already know what it creates. It creates nothing good. It creates more of this, you know, destruction. And um, I'm grateful that people see beyond that and there's still hope for us. Um, I just, you know, it's like really sad. This is really what it's going to come down to. And I believe it is. You know, the, the end of the world is coming. It's here. It's, you know, there's signs everywhere. The Lord talks about it, you know. And you got to be ready. You have to be ready. And wake up every morning and put your full armor of God on, and you will rise upon it. I know I have before, and I could do it again. Just, you know, I'm just sad that, you know, I don't learn faster. <laughs> so that's about all I can say about, you know, what I think about stereotypes. But, you know, pretty much, you know, get, do enough in, uh, survey on it. I mean, statistic wise, they're pretty much right, you know, they're pretty much right. Not everybody's that way though. But after being out here for so long, you start becoming hard, you start becoming uh, uh, a soldier to it, you know. And me, I have to put my full armor of God on it so I don't get attacked. These people don't realize that they're, they're, they're being attacked, spiritually attacked. And they will follow that because they're under the influence of the devil's drug. And so it's, after a while, they just don't care. It is a destruction, you know. And um, But there is still good, good people. And, um, 
I believe that I'm one that's a good person, but we're the target. That's, we're their target. The, they, their target is the ones that don't care. They, 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 they bought into whatever they believe. And I know it's not God, because God would not see fit for it's not his, his kingdom. It's not his kingdom. It's like good is good, not bad is bad. And, uh, I want to be a part of the good, and not the bad. It's a struggle to, to, to withstand all of it. You know, my decision, what I allow, is important to God, important to my well-being. I'm sure that uh, most, most people down here would experience depression. Yes. Oh, so yes. Oh, yes. I miss you. Be, me because I would because I'm a woman and I was solely provided by my husband and if I would have known what the it, you know it's like you don't know until you try it well I tried it I don't like it I want to go back I want to return to the marriage because I would even try even harder for my marriage knowing what I know now uh, being homeless so being not with a husband it's it's sort of like oh it's so difficult. And I would have fought more for my parents than I did. I did fight for many years for it, you know, to, to better it. And it was almost there. I think I, the devil goes, oh, yeah, well, the Lord, could I kept Ron in this situation? Because, you know, I know she doesn't, she's not going to love you. And so, you know, he would tempt me. And then God say, well, let me see if my daughter loves me. Oh, okay, I'll let you do it. And, you know, either I'm going to or I'm not. And so i got to take heed to the things that are of God and really treasure that and know what that is. got to study. i got to study and, and know what to look for and stay away from. Free food! Excuse me? Do you like some food? Some to dad? We have chicken, baguette, Dr. Pepper, and some of them have bananas on them. Who are you guys? Are you with them? Yeah? yeah, we're with them. Yep. Just feeding everybody today. Oh yeah? Are you guys your family or friends? Uh, family. Family. Yeah, yeah. yeah. same thing. Nice, Thank guys. you very much. God bless you. God yeah. bless you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Have a good day. Yeah, you too. Thank, Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you guys. Yeah, it was very awesome. This is the stuff I like. They did yesterday. I they did it yesterday too. I'm gonna sit out here. It's hot. I just wanted to say that I do love all my children, every single one of them. It's okay. I I hope that I hope that they don't ever have to experience this. But if they do, I'm prepared to help them in a situation like this. I'm there. So I just hope that they they hang on to the Lord. And I mean, like, I wish God could be more stronger in their lives. You know, they really need that. I, I want to be a better mother by example. And so they need to pray for their mom. And I love you guys. Thank you. You're welcome.